Tasker has some cool new ways to manage if actions. Let's check out some examples. Here you have a very simple if action, uh, if condition with an action there in, the, in between the if and, and if. So in this case, if A matches B, this is just an example, of course, this will never match, but if A matches B, then flash hello. Often you may want to convert this into a single action because sometimes you just want to have one action running if there's certain condition matches so you, now you can very easily do this by selecting all three actions and convert to single action as you see the if block was is now gone and the condition is uh, transferred to the action itself so now you only have one action and the, the unnecessary if block is gone but if for some reason you do need the, the if block, you can also long click the action and then convert to if block. Now you can bring the block back and have any new actions you want here, like another uh, beep for example, or anything you want. Oops. So now you can very easily have one action with the condition, then you think, oh, I would need to add something else to that condition, some other action. And then you can convert it to a block and add an action there. You can also have more complex if if blocks where the if action has a condition but the action in it also has a condition. If you now do the same, select all three, convert to single action, what will happen is both conditions will be merged and uh, united with the and plus uh, condition here so it will work the same as before sorry it will work the same as before but all in a single action of course now if you convert this back to a block again convert to if block all the conditions will be sent to the if block because tasker has no way to know which <laughs> conditions were in the action before or were in the if block so you have to watch out for this because all conditions will go up here. And finally, uh, this is something I encounter uh, very often when I'm working in Tasker, when I'm creating new tasks, is for example, I do something, and then if something, if that something ends in error, I add a stop action if the error, if there's an error, if error is set. And then after that, I do something if there's no error. So the, the action stop, the task stop right, stops right here if there's an error in this first action. But then I very often uh, think that I want to show an alert, a flash, saying there was an error. But I also want to do this if error is set. But now I end up with two actions with the same condition, and that's not very good. So what I can do now is long click both of these actions and convert to if block. And what will happen is an if block with all the actions with the same condition will be created. And then this is much more clean, and you'll have a, a, a better task because of it. And this can this can happen with however many actions you want. You can clone this and clone these. Imagine you have four actions with the same condition. You can convert all of these to an if block and all of them will be uh, will be pushed inside an if block. So these are the, some of the new if related features in Tasker that hopefully will make your life easier to create new tasks. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!